Okay, so there's a lot of issues with uh, part B of this last discussion. So I wanted to kind of go through it to show you guys uh, what you're doing wrong or what a lot of you are doing wrong. Um, so if you got part B wrong, then you got part C wrong, right? Because you got the wrong formula um, and then you plug in the values. That's why some of you got like really big numbers, I think, for the home values. Um, if you just raise the percentage by a half a percent. So let's take a look at the math because this is where it went wrong. If I want to solve this equation right here for W2, then I got to get rid of everything else, right? That's the algebra. So first, everybody got this part. You can add one to both sides. And then you have W2, homes worth after inflation, W1, before inflation, and then just to the one over n. Now, a lot of you want to do the roots, uh, to, to use your property for roots for the one over n. Um, but we like to avoid that if we can. You, really, the fractional exponents are a little bit better. And here is the best next step. Let me show you. I'm going to raise both sides to the nth power. Okay. Um, and then that's going to give me it's going to get rid of this because 1 over n times n is 1. So these, these would cancel out, or the n divided by n would cancel out. right? So that leaves me with the following equation. i plus 1 to the n equals w2 over w1. And if I'm solving this for w1, then the, or w2 rather, then I can just multiply both sides by this. And I got my answer. Okay, and it's just... That is should be a one, sorry, one all to the n. And that's a much easier formula to work with than if you're dealing with the roots, okay? So that is what you should get. That's one way to do it. Now let me show you what a lot of you guys tried to do, and let's see if I can fix it. So everyone got the i plus one, and then maybe over here you wanted to do the root thing. So it would be w2 to the one over n, which is the nth root, which is correct. And it looks like that, okay? And then, so, so now you're two steps where you can multiply both sides by this thing to get rid of your fraction, which is also correct. But here's where a lot of you went wrong. You don't have, well, let me re finish writing it. You don't have these parentheses. And these parentheses are really important. I think this is why a lot of you got those big numbers. Because what you first do is you add the... Um, inflation rate to one and then you multiply by that number where if you don't have the parentheses here's what i saw in a lot of papers or a lot of uh posts without the parentheses look at the order of operations you do this first and then you add it to i which is a lot different than adding i to one and then multiplying by the root okay so you can still do it this way. The last step would be to raise to the n. We got to raise the whole thing to the n. So a correct answer, another correct answer other than my correct answer, would be that w2 is equal to i plus 1 parent, in parentheses times the nth root of the initial rate before inflation. All of that to the nth power, which is the direction a lot of you wanted to go, but a lot of you were missing these parentheses right here. Okay, and then so if you if you didn't if you couldn't get that equation, either one of these, this would be this guy is the same. What's in yellow? They're the same thing. Um, then yet you then you're gonna have trouble with that last one too. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. I hope it helps, and let me know if you have questions.